Hello everyone, welcome to another video by AI Senses. Today we are going to discuss how we can develop uh, website traffic forecasting with the help of Python, right? So like always the first thing that you need to do is you need to open up your Jupyter Notebook and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new and then I'm going to start this new notebook, right? So let's write it website forecasting with the help of uh, you know python right so uh, i'll tell you step by step what we are going to do in this uh, but the main libraries that we are going to use are matplotlib pandas and other than that we are going to use the seasonal decomposition and the model that is called arima right so if you are familiar with time series forecasting before arima and arma both are the models that are used for that right so let's begin let's start by bringing in all the libraries so first and foremost the pandas library for that let's write import pandas as pd and secondly let's write matplotlib so import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt let's run this and let's move forward so in this tutorial we are also going to use plotly right so for that uh, i'm going to bring in the plotly express library so for that i'm going to write import plotly dot express as px right and other than that i'm also going to bring in the plotly graph objects so let's bring that in as well so for that i'll write import plotly dot graph underscore objects as go right and after that i would also like to import libraries such as uh, you know uh, plotting of the correlation and the seasonal decomposition as well as arima so let's bring them one by one as well so the seasonal decompose is available in stats model so for that let's write from stats models dot tsa dot seasonal import seasonal underscore decompose and after that i'm going to bring in the plot pscf right which is for autocorrelation okay so it is available in graphics.tsa plots uh, which is also a part of stats models so let's write from stats models dot graphics dot tsa plots import plot underscore tsef so after that the last thing that we are going to bring in uh, actually second last right is the arima model so for that let's write from stats models dot tsa dot arima underscore model import arima in big letters okay and at last i'm going to bring in the stats model api as well right so for that let's import stats models dot api as sm so these are all the libraries that we are going to use it is saying that stats model right it is stats model so not you know stats model okay so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in the data and the name of the data file is website.csv so for that let's write data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and in that i'm going to write website dot csv okay and after that i'm going to print out the head of the data right so let's do that so this is the data right so it is starting from 2021 and if we want to see the tail of this data we can also do that just for that i'm going to write 
tail right here and this is the tail of the data right so it has a complete of 391 rows or values okay so what is the next step the next step is we can convert this uh, you know date into uh, uh, you know the uh, date uh, index right and for that we can use the function pd to date time so let me bring it a little bit above right and now i'm going to use that function okay so that fun uh, for that function i'm going to add a new column called date in the data right and here i am going to write pd dot two underscore date time and here i am going to write data and in the data i am going to write date as it is the new column that i want and after that i will put a comma here and then give it the format right so the format that i want is first i want date then i want months then i want year right so for that what i need to do is i need to write percentage sign d then percentage sign m for month and then percentage sign y in capital letters and let's do that okay it is giving us an error let me see that so here i forgot to enter these slashes right the spaces uh, and uh, now i have entered that and let's do this again okay so let's run this and now that it has entered let's actually print out the info of the data so for that i'm going to write print data dot info and there we go so this is the complete data frame that we have now okay so there are a couple of things that we can do now the first thing is we can actually uh, plot a part of this uh, you know uh, complete data frame okay and uh, what i am going to do here is i am going to bring in a small code of plotting right and let's do that so it is a very easy part of the code right in this what i am doing is i am just writing the style and then uh, giving it a fixed size and then plotting the date with views and giving it a title so let's see what is the result so this is the daily traffic of website.com right so as you can see on the screen we have dates here right and the number of views here okay so after that what i would like to do is i would like to perform the seasonal decomposition right so now let's move on with that okay so seasonal decomposition is available in uh, you know tsa dot seasonal right so for that let's write from stats models dot tsa dot seasonal import seasonal underscore decompose right so after bringing it in what i need to do is i need to uh, tell it what is the se seasonal decompose uh, you know method that i am going to use uh, what is the period that i am going to enter and what is the uh, you know extrapolating trend that i am going to use so let me bring those things in so this will show us the proper uh, you know seasonal decomposition and the model is multiplicative and we have the frequency and the period is 30 here right so let's just see what it gives us okay so these are the views and this is the trend and this is the seasonal trend and this is the residual id right so other than that uh, what we can do is we can also plot the autocorrelation of views with itself so for that what i need to do is i need to write pd dot plotting and dot auto correlation underscore plot and then i will write data and the column that i am going to take on is views right and i'll see this that this is the auto correlation uh, of views right and in the same way now I would like to move on towards the 
forecasting part right so the model that we are using is the uh, you know cerimex model the cerimex model is has four basic components p d q and season right so out of these four components we give it um, uh, different values so uh, p d and q these three components are a part of order right so we'll have to give values to all three of these right so uh, let's assume the values to be something like 5 and then 1 and then 2 right so these are the three values okay and after that i have to write down the model so model is equal to sm dot tsa dot state space dot serimax and here i am going to write down data and in that i am going to write down views right and after that i am going to give the order so order is equal to p d and q and after that what i am going to do is i am going to give it a seasonal order as well so seasonal order is equal to pdq and the last thing is 12 of course because we have 12 months i am taking it that way right so we can also write 6 and something like that here as well right so after that we are going to write model is equal to model dot fit and uh, then i am going to print out the model summary so model dot summary right so let's run this so it is running the model right now of course i have ran this model before and it is just in the uh, you know uh, way like this right so this is what you will see with this result okay so you will see these results of serimax right so what to do after that how will you perform the prediction so to perform the predictions what i will have to do is i will write predictions is equal to model dot predict of course after our model has ran so model dot predict and then i'll give it the length of data and after that i am going to uh, you know predict 50 data points after that right so it's going to start from that uh, start uh, the data and then end at the uh, data plus 50 right and after that i am just going to print out the predictions okay so these are all the predictions if you remember we had 390 values uh, you know totally available and now uh, we are getting uh, values like 441 which are 390 plus 50 okay and we can also plot this in a very easy way for that what i'll have to do is i'll just have to write data views and then plot legend and training data will be uh, 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 you know graphically shown here and then predictions will be graphically shown here right and by running this you will get this completely beautiful graph that is showing us that it is the training data and as you can see after that we have the predictions and it is predicting really well right so this is the way in which you can perform any forecasting that is given to you and uh, this is it for today let's meet up for the next video as well